Hey guys, Dirty Shizno 725 here, or Royce if you want to call me that. And I got a uh, quick tutorial today for you guys on how to make something that looks like this. Let's give it a second to render. Okay. It's a very simple and easy creation, and uh, it's for, you know, just beginners. And hopefully you guys know how to do basic keyframing. I believe there is a video up on how to do that. So uh, let's start. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new plane or whatever. And then you're going to drop a sphere into this, okay? So by going to this tab, the items tab. Then you're going to want to change the radius to 150. And the segments to 150 to 100, depending on how good your computer is. I'm going to put it at 150. So now that you have your basic ball, kind of here, uh, we're going to take two tubes, okay? So, not two tubes, sorry. We're going to take one tube, sorry. And you see these little orange dots on them? you can adjust the sizes and stuff like that. So just adjust it to a nice size you like for the uh, the size of the hole and then click on the one and just adjust it to a reasonable size there. So this is going to be one of the rings going around the ball. And you want to do is click on the ball and you'll see the object tab. Hit, uh, click fillet which will make it more of a rounded kind of edge to add some nice look to it. Then You're going to want to click over to slice and click on slice. This will make it into a half. So now that you have your half circle, what you're going to want to do is click R, which turns it into rotate. And as you can see now, you can rotate it around. So, sorry, before you rotate, you uh, you want to move it so it's about centered with it, and so it can just perfectly rotate right around. So then you go and press R and make sure it can rotate around. And as you can see, it can. So now, what you're going to want to do is select the tube and press Control C, Control V, and Control V to make two more of them. Now, the second one you can name Tube Tube Middle, and the outer one is Tube Outer. So Tube Tube Middle Tube Outer. So on the middle one, you're going to want to make it a little bit bigger. So by Oh, sorry, wrong one. By dragging it, by uh, dragging little orange balls again. Crap, rotated it. Um, till it's bigger. And then you're going to want to try and get it about the same size. Doesn't really matter if it's not, but just, you know, eye it. And once you have what you like, like that, I like that, then you have your second ring. And now take that second ring, press R, and rotate it to any place on it. Just, just anywhere. Now you take your outer one and you make it even bigger than the last one. Oops, control Z. Make it even bigger. And once you get to a size you like, hmm, I don't like that size right there. Uh, just play around with it until you get to sizes that you like. And I like that. And then once again, you just rotate it to any place on the area that you want. So I like right there. So now you have your basic rings around it, and uh, right now it just looks like a ball with some rings around it. Well, it's you're going to actually make them rotate using basic uh, keyframing. So <clears throat> you want to go down to here, and I like to work with the rules of 40. So make it about 200 frames, and on frame 0, this will be your starting one. So you click on the record button, and it makes the first keyframe. Then move it to 40. And then pretty much just rotate this thing wherever you want and make another keyframe. And do it at 80 and then rotate again. And make sure to always click the keyframe before you rotate because when you rotate and then move it, it'll set it back. And then I am just going to go back to 120 as my final one. I'll make this short. And there you go. So now you go back to the beginning and we'll play this. And as you see, it is rotating. And that looks pretty nice. So you pretty much just do the exact same with the other three. Okay, and sorry about that. I just took a little break to finish this off because I didn't think you guys wanted to see me just keyframe three of these things. So once you get all your three keyframed, it should look something like this. Uh, let's play this. So as you can see now, they're all just moving around. And what's cool is they'll never actually collide because they're on a different thing. They're on different uh, angles. So now, <clears throat> once you get that, you can start on color in this thing. And 
I like to make one material for the middle, and so I like I personally like to choose a blue, but you know, choose whatever color you like you want that fits. So I'll do that, put a little reflection on this, about 20% brightness on the reflection, uh, fresco with another 20% on that, uh, maybe add a little blurriness, and glow, because this is kind of like a centrifuge almost. And the inner strength will make 71, and the outer strength will make 440. And now we can put it in the center there, and check that, and it glows nice and beautifully. Now, for materials, I like to choose the outer one's metal, and to do an easy one, you go to File, Under Materials, Load Preset Material, and choose Architect, and go to Metal, and you have all these metals to choose from. Oops. Metals to choose from. So, I don't know, let's choose... I don't know. Metal Zinc. There we go. Zinc looks nice. And so you just drag it on to all three of these, and now you got your metal outside. Now, you know, that, lo that looks pretty good now, but it, uh, it could be better. So let's play around with some little lighting now. So drop all one light into your, uh, your contraption. And I like to move it up to the top left, and then a little bit in front of it, like here. And so you get a nice little lighting on it. Now, go click on your light and go to Shadow, Shadow Map Soft and turn down the intensity to about 65. So you get a nice dark shadow on that. And now you can't see much of it, so we will control C and V this light, copy and paste this light, and put one down at the bottom. So now we got two, and move this one a little bit forward. So now we got this cool looking thing. Um, <clears throat> I'll just actually increase the brightness a little bit on these. Uh, and then this one, bring this back up to about 80. Make a little bit more light. Make it look a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to put a sky into this to add a reflection. So put a sky on the back, and in the link description, I will put this texture in. It's a studio reflection. Click no when you drag this in. And then just bring it and drag it onto the sky over in the taskbar, because it will not, if you put it onto the back, it will not drop. So now you, ha you have this, and when we render this out, oops, that's a cube, render this out, it's going to take a couple seconds, we can see the thing in the back, and we, we don't really want that. What you can do is you can right-click on Sky, go to Cinema 4D Takes, and go to Composition. Under Composition, you click on Scene by Camera, and untick that. So when you render it, it won't show that, but it'll still have the reflection, as you can see right here. So it doesn't look, look nice now. <clears throat> so... Now, you can pretty much, you're done making this ball, Let's just play it through, look at it, it moves, centrifuge all like, ooh, that looks nice and pretty. And uh, that's pretty much it, you know, I just want to thank Cinema4D Toots for uh, letting me post this, and uh, I want to just hope you guys have fun and try this out. And uh, I, know, I know people ask for likes and stuff, but I was just hoping you guys can maybe give this a like or a dislike if you didn't like it, just so I can see your feedback, because this is my first tutorial I've ever done. So, if you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. You know, just, I want to see what you guys like. Anyways, thank you. I'm DirtyShizno725, or Royce, and uh, have a great day, guys.